the fight was made, Spencer, Leewood, Josh Warrington. You thought, yeah. 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 Great now fight. they've got something on here. Uh, it eagle, it, we eagerly await it. it. It's coming our way very, very soon. Uh, and it's in Sheffield. Are you still as upbeat about it? Is this the one that you think, yes, we're going to see something special here? Absolutely. You know, both guys will bring it. You know, they're at that stage of their careers where it's a must win for both guys. Um, and it's a fight that's been talked about for a few years now. It's a fight that we wanted to see for a few years. And finally, we get it at a good stage of both of these guys' careers. You know, Josh Warrington needs this win more than ever. You know, we had him both in the studio, actually. I thought they were both great in the they studio. Were they were both, they yeah. were both, yeah, both gentlemen in there. And, and I love the fact that we actually both picked Lee Wood to win the contest. And Josh Warrington sitting there saying, yeah, I love this. Come on, it's feeding me. Yeah. It's feeding me. You're giving yeah. me the energy. Yeah, yeah it's just, it was just great. But well, one thing you can guarantee is fireworks on Saturday night. Absolutely. It's just about upon us. This Saturday, uh, the WBA a featherweight champion uh, goes in Lee Wood. We look forward to it immensely against Josh Warrington. And Lee Wood joins us live this lunchtime. Lee, days away from it now. How are you feeling? I'm ready, mate. You know, um, no secret, these last few days and today, and especially tomorrow, making weight is not my favorite of days. Um, being in front of the cameras and making weight and um, repeating myself loads of times. But when fight night comes, um, that's what I'm in my element. That's what I can't wait for. Lee, how difficult is it to make that weight? I know the last, listen, I used to hate, that was the worst part of boxing, if I'm totally honest. The, you know, the smaller guys, when they've got to cut that weight, it is difficult. You do get edgy and you've got to go out there and you've got to do all these, you know, you fulfill all these media obligations. How difficult is it at this stage? Yeah, it's hard, but um, I'm not going to moan about it because I have to do it. I know I have to do it. I signed up for it. I knew uh, what what it's it's just part of the game. And every, every fighter has to make weight apart from heavyweights. Um, mm. But it, I just mentally get over it. I know I set myself little goals, and I, I I do it so meticulously. Like every camp, every day out, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, fifty days out, I record my weight morning and night, and I'm on it. And um, I can't do it any better way, but. After this fight, I think we move on. Listen, Lee, it's a fight that you've both wanted for a long time now. We finally get it on Saturday night. I mean, what are you expecting? What are you expecting Josh Warrington to bring? He's coming off that narrow loss um, to Lopez last time out. What are you expecting from him in this fight? Because he's going to bring it, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he needs to win this fight. Um, the same Josh Warrington. We know he's tough. We know he can take a punch. We know he'll bite down and give everything he's got, every drop of him. Um, but it's not always the... The one who wants to win most that wins. Um, you know, you need to know how to win. And and that's what I bring to the game. I want to win by and I, and I train hard and I'm fit and I'm strong and I punch hard. But the most important thing is I'm calculated. I know what to do and where to do it. Mm. Um, and I've got a game plan that I'll execute on Saturday night to well, get the victory. Well, what we saw actually um, when you boxed Mauricio Lara was, you know, in that first contest that you had with him, you got knocked out in the seventh round. But you showed you got that adaptability and you went back into that immediate rematch. What we all thought was wrong to do that. And you showed the adaptability and you won that fight and controlled it over 12 rounds. Now, can Warrington do the same? Because we know how he fights. We know how he pressures. We know what he does. We know his strengths. But can he do the same? If you put him on the back foot, is that his weakness? Uh, not so much the back four or the front four, um, but I believe, you know, Warrington, your boxes a certain way, like very similar to other, my, my opponents, like the, what they do well is what they do well. They can't change. They're not versatile. The same as Zucan, the same as Conlon, the same as Laura, what they do. If you don't know how to beat them, it's effective. Same with Warrington. He's got a lot of success doing things a certain way, but he cannot change. He's not adaptable. And that's going to be the key uh, difference between us both on Saturday night. Sam, you said to me, you have a great deal of admiration for, for both these lads. I do. And you tip Lee when Josh was sitting alongside him and Spencer said you tip Lee to do it. You're still sticking with that? I do. Yeah, I don't think anything would have changed in the two weeks since the boys were in the studio. Um, nothing has altered the landscape. That you know, the, They're both preparing for a fight that will test both of them. This is not going to be an easy fight for either one of them, and I'm pretty damn sure unless Lee tell me some, tells me something different, he's priced into his mindset that it's going to be a difficult fight. You were very confident, and you've been very confident again, and I suspect you're probably right about old dogs and new tricks, but is there any preparedness in your mind that if Josh Warrington has made any alterations or modifications, bearing in mind who he's fighting, are you prepared for any eventuality in any shape or form? Because you're both, you were very bold in the studio about the fact, I know what he does, he does what he does, and he's going to do what he does, and do what he does. And again, you've made the same sentiment in this, uh, in it, if you can make sense of what I've just said. <laughs> you, in, again, you've made the same point about with he is what he is. But if he isn't, if he's yeah, done some, sure. some, made some adjustments to, to bear in mind he's fighting a world title holder. It's not just adjustments. You can't, like, 
if he approaches his fight with a different game plan, it's not the game plan. It's so much as well, like there's certain things he does. He can't do it a different way. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but like he cannot ch- completely change his whole style and 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 turn into a a, a calculated boxer mm. that does certain things different. And um, what he brings is what he brings, and that's that gets some success. And there might be times in this fight when he will have a tiny bit of success, but it will come at a cost, and he'll have to work mm. very hard for the moments. And then after that, I will make him pay again. But if if he does implement something different, and he does surprise you, and does do something slightly different, I think what Simon was asking was, are you prepared, and can you? Are you are you ready for that? Basically, yeah. If it's a fan, just like the Conan fight, you know, <laughs> I find I find I can I can win in many ways, but I know what is best at. I know what is not so good at, and I'm prepared for anything in between. Listen, you both bring amazing crowds. With this fight's in Sheffield, it's on neutral ground. What are we expecting now? What sort of fan base are you bringing down there, Lee? And what are you expecting from Josh's side as well? Because it's going to be what the atmosphere is going to be insane in there. And yeah, have you got a divided? Yeah. Is it divided, by the way? Yeah, it's divided down the middle. Um, it's going to be electric. Uh, we've sold more tickets than we've ever sold, and it's not even in my own city. Um, I think uh, that the fans are going to battle. Um, I've been told that we've sold the most tickets independently through my own team, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, we've done very well. Um, I'm expecting uh, a hostile um, crowd on both sides, one that will keep battling all night, not just go quiet. And I think that's going to pick us both up in the in in the times that we may or may not need it. Uh, to coin your expression, if the fit hits the shan, do you think it's going to be one of those fights where both of you are going to have to really bite down on your gum shields during it? Um, possibly, possibly. There, there might be moments when um, you know you make little mistakes and things are rushed, and he'll be working hard to try claw a moment. He's not going to go down f- without a fight. Yep. No way. Lee, I, 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 when I'm pushing him. Lee, I think that's one guarantee that we've got in this fight, mate. I think that you're both going to, you know, I think that the reality is that you're both going to have to bite down on your gum shields. This, this, this fight really is going to be exceptional both ways. I think that you're both going to have your moments and it is, it's, it's a tough fight, whatever way you look at it. For sure. Like, there's going to be moments in this fight when, like I said, he's been working very hard to claw something back because it's going to be desperation. Um, mm. I'm trying my best there not to give too much away, but I'm going to come back and talk to you after the fight and, um, and I'll talk you through what happened. Okay. Um, Lee, you know, we think the world of you, as we do with Josh. Um, we look forward to seeing a great, clean fight and may the best man win. Yep. It's a bit cliched, but we mean it. Mm-hmm. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Good luck, mate. I'm in James Spence. Thanks, Simon, and I'll talk to you after. Pleasure, mate. Good, Good luck. luck.